being the Brock Lesnar fan that you are, I mean, with the report coming out that Brock Lesnar night might not be on WWE TV until the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, what are your thoughts on that? I think that's a little long for him to be away and on a hiatus a couple more months. In the state that WWE is now, I feel like they can't really afford him to be gone for that long. Um, they make so much money, I don't know how they couldn't give him more money. I don't just know. I feel like, on one show. if anything, they should have just, in his contract, they obviously they knew he was going to become champion eventually. They should have probably just put a little extra money in the contract, a couple more pay-per-view appearances, something like that. How can you have a champion not on TV for four months? I just don't get... I'm a big Brock Lesnar fan, but I just don't get... Like, I guess in his situation, you see that as I'm getting paid, so I could give two shits less. But for the prod, it's just like... You have good feuds, but there's no meaning to them. If anything, make an interim champion or something. Like, something... Someone has to... They have to have a... Like, Survivor Series is one of their top big four pay-per-views. And they're not gonna... If they don't have a title match, then it's just kind of... It's kind of dumb and useless. Like... They, like I said, they might have to do like a tournament for like an interim championship, like what they did when CM Punk left. But like they'll literally just like really have a champion. Like the CM Punk thing was like a week or two. This will be like a couple of months if that report is true that he's not coming back to the Royal Rumble. But I feel like it kind of like, if he's gone that long and doesn't have a match, kind of kills his like momentum as champion because he's never defending. It's kind of like Dean Ambrose, the United States champion. He's a champion, but he never defends it. So why exactly. is it like kind of hurts his? his, like, reign a little bit more. And then if he holds the WrestleMania, then people will just be like, he had the championship for six or seven months, but he only wrestled two or three matches. So, I don't know. I feel like they should get him on. He should he should be inked on every pay-per-view. And I'm fine with him, like, when he's not champion. When he wasn't champion, I was fine with him, you know. after Even, even, even after he broke the streak, I was fine with him not showing up for a couple more months because he wasn't champion. But he's the title holder. I mean... I don't expect him to do every pay-per-view. It would be good. He doesn't even have to show up on Raw. Just work the pay-per-view, beat the opponent, and don't show up on Raw after that. Maybe do the go-home show or the night afterwards. But aside from that, we don't need him on Raw. Like, with Night of Champions, the build with Cena was good. Because all he had to do was show up the night after SummerSlam and the Raw before Night of Champions. That was it, and it worked. And we already talked about before how the main events of Night of Champions made no sense because they kind of teased the Hell in a Cell match between Cena and Lesnar which would make more sense than Cena versus Orton for the millionth time inside the cell in a couple more weeks. But that's the way the WWE wants to do it. But if you're not going to have him show up for Hell in a Cell, at least, the very least you could do, like you said, is have him show up for Survivor Series. I know they haven't cared about that show in forever, but if there's one pay-per-view that he should show up at, defend that title, it's Survivor Series. So there's got to be more to it than them not paying what he wants to show up at least once before the end of the year. Like Royal Rumble, like you said, is in three and a half months. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I feel it's their fault, if anything. It is their fault. It's if not Brock Lesnar. can't if, blame Brock Lesnar. If he said, you know what, I'm not showing up until X amount of days, then they, sh- they can just be like, all right, then don't show up. Then they can go on their own separate ways and do some other stuff. He could still have the title belt at home, but they could just go another direction. I feel like they're just like, they're all worried about money, which I don't know why. They're million billionaires. I don't know why they're worried about money. And it just, that doesn't make zero sense, like... Like, Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins is nice, but, like, what are you going to do for Survivor Series? Like, you just you just can't keep snowballing these feuds longer and longer just because there's no champion there. Like, I don't want to see freaking Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose snowball over to TLC and end it there. Like, it should be ended at Hell in a Cell. But knowing them, they'll go to Survivor Series. It'll be Team Ambrose and fucking Team Rollins and Team Cena and Team Randy Orton. They'll do that, and then... At TLC Live, TLC match with Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins for the Money in the Bank contract. Like, no one at the point. SummerSlam was where it should have ended. It didn't. Went to Night of Champions. Didn't end there. Went to Hell in a Cell. Should be the end, hopefully. But then they'll just. It's just like another storyline that they've done for the last couple of years. They do this a lot in the last couple of years. They just keep, like, extending feuds way long. Like, the Bray Wyatt John Cena feud was way too long. Especially since it sucked. I mean, exactly. it's just Ambrose Rollins is good, but the whole involvement of John Cena kind of bothers me. And the whole involvement of Randy One, like, they're kind of, like, teasing Randy One going babyface a little bit. Like, he's kind of, like, him and Seth Rollins ain't looking at each other, like, like kind of mad at each other. Yeah. Like, but it just, like... I mean, it's like, not only it's, the fact they drag out feuds, it's the fact that it's the same people. Exactly. The it's, there's no Rollins. meaning for it, either. Like, John Cena and Bray Wyatt was a nice feud, but they, wasn't, they weren't fighting over anything. Just a f- good feud that they ruined because he didn't win at WrestleMania. But, like, how much more can you really do with Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose? Like, 
Uh, the how? Raw main event has been the same exact. It's going to be the same next week. Exactly. They already rumored yeah. it. It's already Handicap official. Street fight. Handicap <laughs> Street Fight with Dean Ambrose, John Cena versus Kane, Randy Orton, and Seth, Seth Rollins. Rollins. The same. I don't get why match. Kane's in it either. Yeah, Kane's in every match for some reason. <laughs> He beat uh, Adam... Like, yeah, exactly. Oh, he yeah, beat, he beat Adam, Adam Rose. Rose the first yeah. time Adam Rose lost, that was a cane on SmackDown. Yeah, like, SmackDown stupid. 15. Yeah, that was funny. I don't know. It just, they just make no sense. And it's like, I guess since there's no depth really right now, they can kind of like get away with all like the same feud. 